See this? This is what it looks like outside the back window of the studio right now. It's freaking cold. As you can see, it's pretty cold out there. And on days like today, we're at the beginning of winter here in the Northern Hemisphere anyway. Uh, you come inside and your hands are freezing cold. And if you just go to pick up a guitar and play it without doing any kind of warm up, well, you risk getting like carpal tunnel or something else that's going to keep you from playing later. So today, I'm going to show you the four things I do to get properly warmed up every time I play. Usually when you think about warming up, you're thinking about sports and things like that. You know, you don't want to go playing baseball, run down the base path without stretching out your legs. You end up pulling up a hamstring and all kinds of bad things happen. Well, guitar, even though it's not a sport per se, is still a use of muscles and, and a use of muscles and tendons actually, and very fine ones and delicate ones that you have in your hand. And you definitely don't want to be someone who develops something like carpal tunnel and then you end up with pain in your hand every time you play. and it, it takes you away from playing the instrument for a good long time. And so one of the really key things that you want to do to keep that from ever happening is do a proper warm up and get stretched out the way you should. Now when it's real cold like this, you're coming inside and you're just rubbing your hand and you know stretching out the muscles and you know like in the thumbnail there with the blow dryer, I've actually done that when it's really cold just to get some temperature into the hand. But then there's a little bit of a warm up routine that I actually do on the guitar itself and that's what I'm going to show you here. It starts with this first thing that's a stretch on the low frets, and I'm just using kind of like a basic lead sound here. You do this unplugged really, but I want you to be able to hear it. So I plugged in my camper and put up a sound that's probably way over the top for doing a warm up. but eh, here we go. It's not going to sound too musical, but this is how you do it. Right, so this first one is, as I said, a stretch. And I'm going to just play the low E string, and I'm going to play first fret, second fret, back to the first fret. It's a chromatic exercise then it's first fret to the third fret, but still using that second finger, so I'm getting a really good stretch. Now I'll switch to the third finger on the fourth fret, and then the pinky on the fifth fret. And then I work my way back. And now I want to give my hand a bit of a break. I want to scrunch it up rather than keep it stretched, so I use each finger on that second fret. So the whole thing together. Coming back to that position where everything is scrunched up is very important. You can really feel that stretch and you don't want to have the stretch like on per se. You don't want to be fully stretched out the entire time. That's just fatiguing your hand and that's counterproductive. So it's a stretch out and then a stretch or an unstretch in and then a stretch out again. I might do this seven, eight times, depends on how cold I was when I started. I just want to feel loose uh, when I'm done with it. So that's the first one is the low string stretch. The second one is just to get my right hand and left hand working together and start getting my right hand going. And this is an exercise that's in my speed picking uh, lessons. And it's just a chromatic. I'm using each finger and it's the fourth fret on the first string to the first fret, third, first, second, first. So. And I'll do that all the way up to the 12th fret and back. I'll start slow, and then the next time I'll do it, I'll just basically tremolo pick and let my left hand go as fast as feels good at the moment. And work my way back to the first fret. It's going to be a little bit sloppy, but we're not looking for, this isn't, you know, how great can I play? It's just get my hands loose and get them working together. Um, I will do that on the first string, maybe the second string. I, if I'm really feeling froggy, I'll go all the way up to the sixth string and back down again. But just uh, one string or maybe two is enough for the warm-up routine. So now the third thing I do has to do with getting my strumming hand going, really getting that kind of uh, that looseness and flow. And I'll just start with basic up-down. Then I'll mix like a gallop in there. And I'll work in triplets. And I'll just start building up the speed. You know, and it gets a little sloppy or out of time in there. Again, this is a warm up, you don't care. You're cold, it's gonna sound weird. And you just wanna get that hand loose and used to flowing so that when it comes time to play chords and do whatever it is that you're strumming, 
it's good and loose. And this last one is the uh, icing on the boring chromatic cake. And I am playing, this really gets me synced up for playing leads and getting the feel of the strings under my fingers. Here I'm doing a chromatic exercise where I'm starting with an open string and I'm going open and then chromatic up from seven. Open, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm gonna do this on each one of the strings. And work my way back. But I only work my way back to the fifth string. And then I do this all the way back up from the fifth, and I work my way back to the fourth, up, back to the third, up, etc., etc. You follow the pattern here. Uh, so by the time I'm done with that, I'm good and warm and ready to play whatever I need to play, loose and feeling good. So guys, something like this or any variation on it, it's got to involve stretches, it's got to involve your right hand and a little bit of syncing up. Just make sure that you're warm when you play and you do some stretching. Also, don't play things that are really stretching your hand out or feel uncomfortable for long periods of time. I've talked about um, the efficacy of practicing in bursts rather than for hours straight. Not only will you learn faster, but it's good for the health of your hands. And that's really important if you want to keep playing guitar. So I hope you find this all useful, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And until next time, guys, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.